welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. It has been quite some time since I've done any videos uh, about any of the machining things that I do. Uh, this is the mini bandsaw I have been working on for, well, almost a year now. Uh, the reason I stopped was because I had a big heat wave uh, in August last year, or sorry, July last year, I think. And then I got super busy with work. What I'm planning on doing, though, is uh, Wednesdays now. Um, I'm going to be place, posting videos about bills. These bills aren't going to have anything to do with fish. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, try and get this all done. And also there's a couple other projects I want to work on. This footage I took last summer, and what I had done is I had cut all the uprights and the horizontals, and I was going to get ready to do the machining for that, and then, like I said, ran into the heat, and then uh, work, and a bunch of other stuff, and I've been postponing getting back to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, use up the footage I had taken last summer, and then I'm going to uh, proceed and get this thing actually finally finished and built. So what I'm doing here right now is I picked up a, well, pretty much a, a garage sale uh, vise. You can tell by all the old rust on it and everything. So I thought what I'd do, seeing how it doesn't really have uh, any value, so if I manage to ruin it, it's no big deal. What I'm going to do here is I've mounted it to the milling machine, and I got it as true as I could, and now what I'm going to do is I am going to, as you can see here, I'm going to use this end mill and I'm going to machine it so that when I put the those large, well, the ones I'm really worried about are those large vertical uprights. Um, because they're so tall, any small change in angle in their facing is going to make a big difference in uh, the angle that they're going to be by the, to get to the top. And I don't really want uh, this to be uh, looking <laughs> like it's got, you know, cut with a hacksaw or anything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and machine this as true as possible and then uh, that way when we put it all together it will look uh, proper and I don't want when I bra put the brackets on for it to be you know offset at all so what I did is I machined this all nice and flat uh, <laughs> apparently whoever used it before was drilling with it and drilled a hole actually into the uh, you can see two spots there but uh, that won't really affect anything at all so one other thing I did last summer uh, before I st uh, stopped working on uh, the machining aspects of things for a while is I had bought myself a dial indicator. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to hook up uh, a piece of, well this is uh, one of the, um, actually I think this is the short ones that are in the front. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hook it up into the vise and clamp it down, make sure it's good and solid. And then I'm going to use the dial indicator and I'm going to see actually how true this all turned out. This is kind of overkill I suspect for uh, just having something that you're going to uh, just square up an end for. But, again, like I said, I want it to look aesthetically pleasing, so I don't want any wonky angles. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to hook up the dial indicator, and I'm going to run it along that face, the long one. And I figure if you get a nice straight on the long, uh, the, the two inches on the horizontal will be nothing. So this is the whole length. I, I couldn't fit, well, actually, I couldn't fit the whole length on it because uh, the slide would interfere with the... Uh, the magnetic base for the dial indicator but as you can see there's very little movement here which is pretty cool so unfortunately what I did I didn't actually manage to film uh, and I don't know why like I said this is like five six months ago now I don't remember why I didn't film the actual milling of the ends uh, but you've seen lots of me milling uh, uh, bits and pieces of metal so it's no big deal I just put it in the vise and square off each end and then the other thing I had to do is, of course, uh, match them to, for height. Otherwise, if I, when I, as you see here, this, this is the main drive wheel for the belt and where the bandsaw is going to fit. And that's going to be set down about uh, a few inches from the bottom of this base. And on top of that, where it's sitting right now, is going to be where the main work platform is going to be. So if they aren't the same height, it's going to be at an angle, and I don't want that. And up here is the two uh, long arms, and they're going to, uh, there's going to be a, uh, obviously a, <laughs> a bracket holding that wheel and an adjustable screw in there so I can tighten and loosen the, the belt, but uh, that's going to be much later on. What I need to build right now is I need to uh, machine the brackets for this, 
the ones that are going to hold the, all these arms in place. Uh, that's quite straightforward. All I'm going to do is uh, cut, uh, have some two inch, quarter inch uh, wide or thickness uh, aluminum, uh, 6061, the tougher one. And what I'm going to do is um, machine four holes in it. It's going to be four inches uh, uh, long and two inches wide. And it's all two by four. Uh, sorry, it's all, all the, the tube so far is all two by twos. So it'll give me a nice even two inches on each of them. And these are the brackets. Again, for some reason, I didn't actually show me machining them, but it's uh, very straightforward, especially with the uh, vise all squared up. It's just a matter of popping them in, drilling a hole, flipping it, and I mean, well, four flips actually. But because I'm doing it in a symmetrical pattern, uh, it's very straightforward, just kind of repetitive. So I don't think I, I don't think you're really missing anything with that. And because I did, I filmed this last summer, and pretty much any time I turned on the uh, belt sander, I was made sure that the camera was rolling. You get to see me sanding off the little burrs that are on this. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, in the next video, these brackets are going to be attached to uh, each of the arms, and I'm going to get this all solid and in the right positions, and also machine the hole for... Uh, the main belt drive wheel and what I want to do is as quickly as possible get this all anchored under the main uh, base plate get everything all set up because I want to be able to turn this on and hopefully in the next like video or two at most and get it running so I can see what kind of ratio is actually working on this like getting the, the motor turning and seeing what kind of uh, feet per second I'm going to get out of the actual uh, saw so that's kind of important. Um, I, like I said, I kept the the motor drive wheel is uh, something that doesn't. It's not a friction fit. It is a feed that I'm going to have to use a set screw for, and that way I can take it off and adjust it or make multiple wheels depending on how I want to do this. And I want it to be simple. So at this point, I pretty much have the basic layout all set up in my mind here. I know where I want everything to go. And what I'm going to do in the next video is attach all this, get everything anchored properly, bolted into place, so, like I said, I can turn it all on. And one of the most important thing is I want to get this wheel set in the, in the proper place, and hopefully it's slightly adjustable so that uh, I can get everything trued up. And then we can move on to the rest of the planning for the upper wheel, and also get this set up so I can actually get it working, which would be really cool. Now the other thing I want to change uh, uh, for my machining videos is I am going to try and shorten them up a bit. I don't like uh, making you know, 30 minute videos because <laughs> I'm a busy person and I know other people are as well and not a, a lot of people have time to sit down and watch a half hour or an hour video on uh, anything really so I want to keep them short and then also you can pick and choose which ones you want to watch uh, more easily that way as well. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry for the long delay between this and the last video. Uh, I will definitely be posting uh, at least two or three a month on uh, Wednesdays for a machining or non-fish non related videos. And uh, thank you again. If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe and I will see you in the next one.